Hi everyone, welcome to the next activity on this series. Today we're gonna do activity 6. As you can see, it's a simple a combination of cylinder and where we have to make some holes as well. And here you can see this is the solid that we are going to create. So by looking into the detailed orthographic projection, you can handle this sketch. Here, especially we're gonna handle this thing with a multiple extrude technique in Inventor, we never used this technique in previous videos. So let's begin. In order to draw this thing, it's always uh, better go for this uh, front view. From this view, you can generate the solid as per the requirement. Now, let's begin. Come over here, start new and check uh, the units. For the question, what we have, everything is in millimeters. So I will go here and choose metric template and start with standard millimeter under the part module and just click on create. Now we can start with the 2D sketch and we can choose the plane. So for this question, either you can choose horizontal or vertical, but for this orientation that you are seeing here, it better choose the vertical plane so that you can see everything properly. So I'm going to come over the inventor, I'm going to choose the vertical plane which is nothing other than the xy plane so just select xy plane as now we are on xy plane you can start sketching so if you go to the front view what we have here is uh, basically three circles the first one with diameter 150 which is available here this is 150 then 100 and in there this is 50 so basically it is 50 100 150 let me draw that first choose the circle start from the origin the first one is 50 and zoom it down and second one is 100 and the third one which is 150 all these dimensions are available in the question so once you finish this sketch we can think about these holes later on. Just click on finish sketch. We are done with that. Click home button. And now we have to extrude. So as usual, you can come over here and can choose uh, the profile that you need to extrude. So check uh, the question. And here we have two extrude basically. First one, this distance, which is 35. And the second one is this distance, which is 135. So First, we'll go for the outer profile. I'm gonna choose this one. And I'm preferring in opposite direction so that I will flip it so that we can control everything from the bottom. And this distance is 35, which is available. And then it is the most important thing. If you go for the next check extrude, if you click OK, what's gonna happen? You cannot make any changes then after. Instead of putting OK, once you finish one extrude, you can create multiple extrude by clicking on this plus button. This is available on 2020 version and 2021 version onwards. In 2017 or 2018 or 2019 version, if you're handling Inventor in those older version, you have to click on the sketch and then choose share sketch so that you can go for multiple extrude but as now here what you can do just click on this plus button apply and create new extrusion click and now you can choose this one so choose this one and it is coming in this direction flip it and this distance we know that it is 135 i'm gonna put 135 here so now you can see our solid is okay so the thing is, whenever you want to make a multiple extrude, make sure you're putting this thing in the same direction in order to avoid confusions. And then you can use this plus button whenever you want to generate multiple extrude from the same sketch. So that's it. Click OK. We are done with the solid. Now we can think about what is available in the middle, which is four simple holes. And here we know the pitch circle diameter is 100. And then we have to draw holes over there. So to do that, I'm going to start new sketch. And here I can choose this surface. This is a place that I need to make hole. And then draw the pitch circle. And the pitch circle diameter is 100. That's it. And here we're going to make four circle, the diameter of the small hole, which is given as 20 deep 
and this diameter is actually 10. So we're going to make a 10 diameter, 4 places and the depth is 20 mm. Here you have to check this thing. This is not a through hole. This is only 20 millimeter depth. So first I'm going to draw the circle here. You can easily catch this intersection and this diameter is 10. Enter. Actually you can draw these circles all over on the four points but there is an easy way to do that as same as in AutoCAD you can go for circular pattern. Now I'm going to choose the object, this object and come over here choose the axis and select this center point, click. Now it is making six but we only want four and it automatically arrange and that's it click ok we are done with that once you're done finish and now we can extrude the hole inside let me choose extrude and cut the hole and the distance of the depth is 20 mm which is given and now i can simply choose the circle the first one and then the second third and zoom in so that you can select fourth we manage to select all, click OK. Then you can see the hole is right now available and it is not a through hole. It is not passes over. This is simply 20 millimeter depth. So that's it. We are done with the question. We managed to finish it. And lastly, the color for this thing is aluminum flat. And over here, I can choose the color. Type A, you will get into aluminum, aluminum flat, that's it. And I would like to show you one more thing. In case you don't want to highlight these edges, you can go to this view tab and here, the visual style, I'm gonna choose shaded. So if you use uh, that option, you can see this is something more appealing. Uh, for the presentation purpose, it's better go here and choose the shaded option. And that's it, we are done, save it and this is is our activity six. So thank you for watching. I will post the next activity as soon as possible. Keep watching the series.